Robert Falk's Man in a Bowler Hat was painted in 1917. It was the year of the Russian Revolution, so there was a lot of social change. It was a period where Russian art really became very pioneering and a time when Russian artists, in fact, began to influence what was going on in Western Europe. The interesting thing about this portrait in particular is the sitter. His name was Yaakov Kagan Shabshai, and he was a distinguished member of the Jewish elite. And he was an electrical engineer, in fact, by training, and he was a businessman as well. In the 1910s, there was a real renaissance in collecting, and many of Russia's greatest collectors uh, were very active at this time. Kagan Shabshai, among them, his focus was really on Jewish art, and he was not just a collector, but also a great patron. He supported many of the young artists, such as Chagall and Elisitsky, and Tchaikovsky, Manny Katz, and really fostered Jewish culture in Moscow at that time. He was one of the first people to actually discover Chagall's greatness. He collected, I think, around 30 of his early works at a time when Chagall was sort of seen as a bit of an eccentric. Kagan Shabshai, he was nicknamed at the time the Jewish Tretyakov, and he amassed an enormous collection of over 300 works of art, which he gifted to the Mendel Museum of Jewish Culture in 1932 for permanent exhibition. Very sadly, much of it was destroyed by bombing in 1941. Looking closer at the style of the portrait, we can see a strong influence of Cezanne on his work. This is very typical for artists who were in the Jack of Diamonds group. very close in style to his most beloved self-portraits, which is also in the state Tretyakov Gallery collection that was painted in 1917, showing Falk looking rather dapper wearing a hat. The portrait was first exhibited in Russia in 1917, but then at the artist's personal exhibition at the Tretyakov Gallery in 1924. The painting was in a private collection for most of the 20th century. One of the exciting things about this portrait is that it's a rediscovery. 